Hello everyone, hola amigos, welcome to a new video. So guys, today I'm going to speak a little bit about the car battery and more specific how you can test it with a simple multimeter. As you can see, I do not longer have my um, original battery that comes with the Qashqai, the Fiam made by Renault. Uh, which is really uh, not a great quality. Nissan had to uh, change lots of batteries of this fabrication um, under warranty. My battery held up um, almost four years, which is quite normal for a battery, uh, especially for a uh, bad quality battery as the Fiam. Um, although it was my very first time that I had to change a battery, uh, I have to say. I think it was um, because I um, disabled the start-stop system, as you know, in, my, um, in another video. Um, also, I use LED, which uh, doesn't use as much current as, um, as does the original halogen lamps. So uh, it was quite um, clear that it was a battery problem when uh, I wanted to start the car. All the lights started flickering like crazy, um, and we only heard a tak 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 clack sound in the cabin. So, um, as I said, I had to call in Nissan assistance, which came um, within uh, an hour and gave me a jump start, and it was good to go. I drove off to the very first auto center I could find, 20 minutes minutes ahead, and uh, I bought this Varta battery, which came quite expensive I have to say uh, 180 euros without installation they had it they didn't have the time to, uh, to install it for me so I had to install it myself they did give me some uh, tools to well one tool to do it so I uh, unbolt these bolts to remove the brackets put out the, um, the Fiam battery and put back in place this um, Varta battery which uh, is made specifically for uh, the Nissan with the start-stop system. So first of all, um, we have to turn on the lights. Like this. For one minute or so, just uh, to remove the surface charge. And then we can proceed. So one minute later, Time to shut off the lights. So guys, as you can see, this is a cheap ass uh, multimeter without a minus maximum uh, option. So I uh, will just put the multimeter somewhere I can see it from um, in the car. You want to put it on a direct current and uh, 20 volts would be enough so now i will place it somewhere like somewhere like here this should be visible from inside of the car we place the red so the pins are placed always make sure you don't touch positive and negative at the same time and now we can read As you can see, quite nicely, it's 12.6, which should be okay for uh, the battery. Now we'll start the car. Up, and you saw it drop down. So guys, as you saw, um, the power dropped down a little bit when starting the car, which is of course completely normal, but it always should stay above 9.6, 10 volts um, when you have a good battery. When it drops uh, below nine, the battery is really uh, starting to um, to be weak. And uh, when it's below five, you can throw it away uh, for sure. There's another way to uh, see the, the, um, the power as well in a small hidden menu. When you push setup and you turn left, right, left, you come in this hidden men menu, you could well, as you can see, my menu is in French, but you can follow my steps. Uh, the first one shows some um, system settings, and there you can see the voltage as well. 
as you can see the voltage is a little bit too high i would say about one volt too high but it still is a quick indication uh, on your um, battery state so that's it all for now guys uh, hope you like this video and see you next time bye bye